Tom's Thoughts. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Tom's Thoughts. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. Usually I do things that I complain about or that I find funny. Uh, first, we're going to start off with my very first email. Uh, it's not a good email. Uh, it's, uh, well, let me I'll show you what it's, I won't show you, but I'll say what it says. It says that you are not funny. You are also fat. Please stop. Uh, what I have to say to that is, uh, fuck you and thanks for watching. Moving on. Next, I am going to talk about a band called Cadogan Salazar. Um, if you are not a fan of early 90s music that is kind of popish, move on. Uh, usually I'm not a big fan, but in this case, I turned out to be a fan of theirs. A quick backstory on these people is that uh, there was a group once called Third Eye Blind, and the lead singer of that band at the time, who uh, we could either call a giant douchebag or he who shall not be named, decided to screw over the other guys in the band and kept the name, screwed everybody else over, and went on to bastardize the actual band, and they did their own thing for 20-some-odd years, I guess. And the other original, uh, the bassist, guitarist, and I think the drummer, uh, I might be wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, decided to make their own band with a new lead singer and named it Cadigan Salazar. Cadigan is the last name of the guitar player. Salazar is the last name of the bassist. The band had their first show in 20 years um, a couple weeks ago, and my wife kind of wanted to go, and I was not excited about it. First, I didn't want to go because I didn't know who they were, I mean, but I ended up buying the tickets for her because it was her birthday. So we end up going there, and I'm annoyed because I... I don't like going out so much. I, I'm a homebody. But we go, and it's at the Annex in San Lorenzo in California. If you go to look at this place online, it looks like a place you can dump a body. So we get there, and I'm looking around, and I'm thinking, oh, where cars could get broken into? And we finally find the place, and a lot of the people when we first get there are kids that weren't even born. It looks like they weren't even born when Third Eye Blind came out. And kids that are taking tickets are like, look like they're fucking teenagers. So I immediately feel out of place. My wife is all happy about it. So we're there. There's people with cameras going around going, what do you think about Third Eye Blind? And I'm thinking like, oh shit, they're coming our way. I don't want to deal with this crap. So I kind of duck away. And so is my wife because she doesn't like being on camera. Fine. We get in there and it's a tiny spot. But pretty goddamn cool. It's actually a rehearsal place. I've never been in a spot like that before which was very, very interesting. One thing I didn't like about it that is there wasn't a lot of places to sit down. Um, so I ended up standing for around seven hours. And for a skinny person, hey, great. Stand for fucking 12 hours if you want to. For an almost 400-pound guy like me, shit. My feet were fucking tired at the end of the night. But I can tell you um, it was well worth it. The openers were great. I don't remember their names. I'm sure you can go to their Facebook page and probably find out. The band itself was awesome. Um, again, I don't listen to a lot of that type of music. Every once in a while I do. Um, but like the hits that they played, great. The lead singer, great. The bass player, fantastic. The drummer, awesome. Uh, the person that stood out to me was the actual guitarist. He seemed to have a lot of soul and was playing with his whole fucking heart, which is awesome to see. And it was awesome to see everybody else around enjoying it too. But to me, he was the real star of the on the stage. It was it was pretty awesome. And for the entire time, they had me engaged. They put on a fantastic show. I did not know every song. I know I knew "Semi Charm" kind of life. I sang along to that. But the rest of the time, I was actually bobbing my head, kind of dancing around. It was it was great. Um, they had cameras there, and they had to redo. A song, which was actually, I think, one of my favorite songs that they did was the very first song. But um, I want to play a clip for you. Uh, it won't be the entire thing because they did they were recording for something, so I don't want to take away from that. But I want to show this brief clip, and uh, then we'll come back to it, and then that would be pretty much it. Um, I know I'm, I might sound like I'm sucking the dick of this band, but it's it's really it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's uh, The best thing I can th say about it is that it was an actual full-blown experience, and I don't have a lot of those when I go out and see things. I had, like, um, Weird Al had an experience, but I loved Weird Al for fucking ever, and I got to see him backstage, 
Stone Temple Pilots, when I, when I saw them twice, both with Scott Weiland, it was another experience. But this was a different kind of experience because I the other places, uh, the other bands, I knew what I was going to get into. This, I had no clue. I actually went in with a very negative attitude and they turned it around. It was awesome. So here is the clip. That's the, the clip. Um, I, I hope it wasn't too loud. I still figure out this whole shit with the, the, the volume, whatever. So if I blew out your eardrums, sorry. I'll try to work on that. Send me an email, a nice email saying, hey, turn it the fuck down a little bit. But other than that, uh, that's it for now. Um, have a great Father's Day weekend. Uh, go follow the band Cadigan Salazar. If I'm not pronouncing it right, well, fuck me. I'm sorry. Um, and I think they have another show coming up at the same spot. Uh, so give it a shot. Even if you're not a, um, fan of, uh, Third Eye Blind, this band is awesome. And again, go look for Cadigan Salazar. Don't look up Third Eye Blind. There is Third Eye Blind out there. They're fake. It's with that douchebag and some other people. It sounds like shit. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and follow me on Twitter at a shadow casted. And like my Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash shadowcasted. Have a good weekend.